What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Vancouver's Worst Drivers. Let's get this video started off with this clip from RXB29 of this driver losing control, not staying calm when doing so, and then just smashing right into the barrier. And then we got this bizarre clip from Bill of this driver making his own lane on the shoulder at all costs. And then we got another bizarre one from Austin. And my only explanation here is that the driver lost consciousness because I don't know how else this happens. Um, what are you doing? Kevin captured this video in Langley of his driver driving the wrong way here, and it's just a good thing that Kevin and this other driver caught this before they smashed into each other. This is not something you see every day. This bus driver drives the wrong way down the road and then awkwardly has to correct it in the middle of the intersection. Usually bus drivers are better than this. Who do you think is at fault here? Let me know in the comments section below. For me personally, my money's on the Mazda. Here's a clip of me almost getting hit while doing a review on the VFO VS1 dash cam. If you're interested in checking out this dash cam, I did the review for it last week, so I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. Keep your eye on the gray SUV up ahead. It just makes this weird right turn too quickly and then ends up driving into a parked car. Grace Ghost reported that it looks like the driver and the passenger switched spots after this, so something suspicious is going on. Brittany and the other driver's life would have been so much simpler had this driver just stayed in the lane he was supposed to. This driver has slower reflexes than a tortoise. Athol, I think it's time to hang up the keys for good. What do you guys think? Do you think that this guy is trying to overtake people, or do you think that he thinks it's a one-way road? When I first watched this video, nothing seemed out of the ordinary to me. You know, there's some people turning left, everything's good, and then this happens. We got a spy view angle of this crash sent in by Cresco. When you encounter challenges in your life, just trailblaze a new journey for yourself. That's all you gotta do. So not only does this driver cut off Arnold, but then they end up on the wrong side of the road doing so, and I don't know how the two sets of headlights coming at them isn't enough of a hint to tell them, hey, you're on the wrong side. So I'm not really sure if they force their way through or they misjudge the distance. Either way, that did not go well. So you're going to see this car in a second driving without a wheel. Sparks are flying. I just saw this video and I was like, WTF, what are they doing? Have they been driving like this for a while? And then I see the wheel come back right about now. As always, I want to thank this video sponsor, Atlas Driving School, for sponsoring this video. They have been a tremendous supporter of this channel over the past year. And if you are looking for driving lessons, show them some love. They've got locations all over the Lower Mainland. All their information will be in the description below. Plus, just for watching Vancouver's Worst Drivers, you can also get 10% off all of their driving packages. So if you or anybody you know is looking for driving lessons, be sure to reach out to Atlas Driving School. And again, a big thank you to them for sponsoring this channel and this video. Now let's get back into the videos with this clip of this driver trying to overtake at just the absolute worst time and almost causing a head-on accident. So I know this driver doesn't look to make sure that the lane is clear, but I realized something. All these videos are similar because instead of just coasting through or braking and going through slowly, these people are accelerating. Situations like this are tricky too because the vehicle on the right is almost hiding behind the vehicle on the left and it doesn't end very well. I think the SPCA needs to take this dog away from this person ASAP. 
what would you guys do in this situation? I got a lot of messages on Instagram of people saying that they would just camp here and not let this person through. And yes, it would be tempting, but I mean, it's also kind of an a-hole move. But it is annoying that people like this with trucks like this think that they can just kind of push their way through because they drive a commercial vehicle. And then talk about a-holes, this video is sped up seven times, seven times. And you can see how long Liz has to wait here just to get through the intersection because these Evos are so determined to get into Metrotown. And then the last video we got from Liz is this driver who's just too focused on turning right and not glancing left. The horrific moment when you forget that you have something tall in the back of your pickup truck. Anton sent in this video of his driver trying to get in this left lane. And I feel like at this point, this guy should have just driven the wrong way down the road and then you turned into that lane instead of doing this. And then talking about U-turns, keep your eye on the black BMW up ahead here. It's going to do a U-turn, and I don't understand how they forget that this red car is trying to turn left. Wendy sent in this crash video of his spot near the Knight Street Bridge, which is an absolute disaster. And it makes it worse when people are just kind of changing lanes without letting anybody know. In the video, they mentioned that this dash cam paid for itself, and unfortunately, it certainly did. But Halfbreed also got in this crash with this driver who probably doesn't know what off-track is. I love this other driver's reaction in this video. Like, how dare Amanda not read his mind and know that he was going to pull into that spot? How could she? There is just so much space on this sidewalk, yet this guy, he just wants to live life on the edge. I think this video kind of sums up Vancouver drivers trying to merge very well. Who's going to tell them that that's not a merge lane? I mean, the driver on the right here was in the intersection on a yellow. Does that count? Paul is one of those guys that has his wits about him. But please, folks, if you're in situations like this, please make sure that it's clear behind you before you move your own car. If you're going to jaywalk, at least be mindful that some spots there's two left turn lanes. Andy is coming right at this driver here, and they still don't notice. It's just one of those situations where you're looking, but you're not really seeing. For some reason, I've been getting a lot of videos at the Terminal Avenue area in Vancouver. Maybe that's why the police are always hanging out there. Here's a sweet instant karma clip from Eddie. And as you can see here, a stop sign says, always stop. And this silver car just doesn't understand that. And this cop has no other choice but to pull this guy over. And then up next, we got two instant karma clips of people doing U-turns in front of the cops. Now, I want you guys to be mindful of this when you're doing U-turns. First of all, they're dangerous. Second of all, they're illegal and controlled intersections. Plus, a lot of municipalities also have a no U-turn bylaw. So just be mindful of that next time you're out there on the road. And then lastly, I'm finishing this video off with this clip of my buddy who I was driving behind almost hitting a pedestrian in Richmond. It's just so unfortunate that I was behind him at that time because here he is on Vancouver's Worst Drivers. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Also, check out my dash cam review video that I did last week. I'll leave that information in the description below. And also a big thank you to Atlas Driving School for again sponsoring this video.